Hi folks, Dusty here. This is section two of my series on keratology. Preambles, if you will. Uh, if you want to follow along in sequence, check out the playlist I created. Welcome to the 33 degrees of keratology. Orange is the new green. A raw look into the underground world of growth, modesty, and success. You may be wondering some of the following things. Why carrots? What do carrots have to do with success? What kind of a guidebook is this? What is keratology anyway? These are all very common, practical questions, the answers to which you will find coming up, but only if you stay tuned. Before I begin, I feel the need to apologize ahead of time. You see, I'm not an author. Well, maybe this makes me an author, I don't really know. But regardless, here I am, Henpecking my way through this guidebook, interjecting anecdotal drops of juicy deliciousness along the way, hoping that this hodgepodge of life lessons and misfortunes comes out the other end with some semblance of order and digestibility. In fact, when I woke up this morning, I had no intentions to sit down and write a book. The thought of writing had occurred to me several times over the years, but not once about carrots. You've never heard of me, so who am I? I'm just an ordinary guy. I am neither rich nor famous, nor do I possess a PhD in psycho-cybernetics. Nope, I'm just me, a single dad sitting in my office, snacking on oyster crackers and hot tea while my son watches Octonauts in the other room. So what makes me the authority on carrots? And what business do I have giving other people advice? Well, you see, in this day and age, you don't have to be a good at anything to get followers. You don't need to be charismatic, a great orator, or even produce anything of substance. Heck, you don't even need proper grammar or a soapbox to stand on anymore. You simply just have to start with a concept, which is what we're about to do next. These principles of keratology, or POCs as I call them, are designed to feed your mind with practical suggestions that you can implement in all areas of your life. When used properly, they can impact your personal and business relationships, financial well-being, mental health, and perhaps even your social status. But honestly, I don't give a crap about your social status, and neither should you. Although that's not altogether true, you do need some form of social status for some of these POCs to apply and be useful to you. But our goal here is not to make you newsworthy or give you your 15 minutes of fame. This morning when I sat at my desk in the pre-dawn hours drinking my coffee in silence, something popped into my head. The carrot principle. It all started off with a problem I was facing, and I was looking for solutions. So naturally I turned to myself for advice. Then I grabbed my notepad and began jotting down some stuff on just how I was going to solve my problem. Here's what I wrote. AR is greater than AP is not the end of the equation. You must collect in order for the equation to take effect. Then I wrote leverage. What are some things that you can leverage? Abilities tools, knowledge, time, cash, credit, relationships, which I rewrote as capital, abilities, relationships, resources, opportunities, and time. So this is the basis for this whole experiment, an acronym. But it's not just an acronym, it's also a metaphor. You are like a carrot. Okay, maybe you're not orange with green hair, maybe you are, but there are similarities. What people see on the surface isn't all that you are. In a social situation, most of us don't only want to be seen as just our visible characteristics. Most people want to be accepted as being more than that. The bulk of what makes us who we are is beneath the surface, and unless we are uprooted or removed from our comfort zones, Nobody will truly know what or who we really are. So how do we take this carrot analogy and put it to work for us? The following 33 POCs that I put together aren't all new or original. 
I've come across many of them reading books, watching videos, talking with people, listening to my mentors speak, etc. I'm sure you've heard some of this stuff before. It's a bit of a rehash, along with some unique tidbits I've added in. What I've done is assembled these POCs together and applied them in three categories. Social, personal, and financial. Some of the POCs will fit into multiple categories, and some are unique in their own category. So, in the next section, video 3, we'll dive in. So please join me. Check out the next video in the series by clicking on the playlist. That's all for now. As always, folks, take the trip and enjoy the ride.